Are you a first time home buyer navigating the intricate real estate landscape of Manhattan? If yes, then watch this video until the end. Hello and welcome to Luxury Living NYC. I'm Erin Wheelock, part of your global real estate team of choice, the Wheelock team. Out of New York City's five boroughs, Manhattan has the most people and is the smallest. Naturally, buying a home here is tough, but don't worry, as in this video, I will be giving you the tips for first time home buyers in New York City, Manhattan edition. And watch this until the end to reveal an amazing gift that I have for you, can't believe we're getting away, as well as a bonus tip I'll be sharing. Let's start with familiarizing you with closing costs. Closing costs are the extra costs that buyers and sellers have to pay on top of the property price in order to finish the deal. Unfortunately, New York City is notorious for having the highest closing costs, especially in Manhattan, typically ranging from 1% to 10% of the cost of the house. These costs vary on the type of property price as mansion taxes increased a few years back and co-ops generally have the lowest closing costs because they don't have mortgage recording tax. New construction condos tend to have the highest closing costs because they usually ask the buyer to also pay the seller's closing costs. So understanding closing costs is important for making good budgets and buying a home in New York City. We have a breakdown in our buyer's guide, so reach out and we can help you with that. Once we're done with that, we can start with saving up. Closing costs are high, and the reason is mainly because the price in New York City are too damn high. Hence, as a real estate agent, I would always advise you to start saving early. Saving money early on gives you a financial cushion and makes you better prepared for the process of getting a home. Down payments for co-ops start at 20% and can go up from there. Condos start at 10%. Then with a co-op, they will want to see some post-close liquidity after the home is bought. So try to have one to two years of additional uh, money saved up after your down payment and closing costs. Moving on, get pre-approved for a mortgage before you shop. I mean, imagine you're a guy who's fallen in love with a girl way out of his league. That's precisely what a pre-approval helps you with. It helps you to avoid the common pitfall of falling in love with a property beyond your financial means. So get in touch with a reputable mortgage broker or banker to start the process right away. And when making an offer on a house, we're gonna need that letter. Uh, and the lender's gonna check your income, credit, and other financial documents during the pre-approval to see how healthy your finances are. If you already have a pre-approval though, you can act quickly, which is super important. Now it's time to familiarize yourself with the board process. You should know that in New York City, especially Manhattan, you have to go through a board package process in order to buy a condo or co-op, not for townhouse or new development. The board package is a complete set of papers that are sent to the building's board to be looked over. The purpose of this process is for the building's board to look at it and approve possible residents. It is advised to get help from real estate professionals. We actually have our own transaction coordinator whose sole responsibility is board packages. It is a lot. Some examples of what are included are personal statements, financial statements, employment letters, letters of recommendation, personal and business, and other papers to back up the application, blah, 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 blah. It's a lot. Last but not least, factor in your monthly costs. If you wanna buy a home in Manhattan, you should think about more than just the original purchase price. You should also be thinking about the monthly costs like property taxes, insurance, utilities, maintenance, or common charges. Be sure these prices don't go over your budget to avoid financial stress. Long-term financial planning, which may include talking to a financial expert, can help you to see how your finances will change over time. This all-around method keeps people from borrowing too much, which makes homeownership more sustainable and comfortable. Where real estate is, always changing. We want you to be comfortable. We also did an episode about sustainable living with Steven Esses, so check that out. At the start of the video, I mentioned a bonus tip, and that being stay informed on the market trends, keep up with the market trends, and that will help you to be able to make smart moves moving forward in an ever-changing market. So keep yourself up to date on the current state of the market by keeping an eye out on changing interest rates, property prices, basically supply and demand of neighborhoods. If you know these trends, you can make smart choices about whether to buy or sell, and we will always love to give them to you. Knowing about neighborhood developments and infrastructure projects can also help you to make better decisions. So the real estate market conditions can change quickly in Manhattan, so be sure to stay up to date. Thank you for staying with me until the end. And now it's the time to reveal an amazing gift. I have for you a downloadable buyer's guide. Uh, I've shared the link of the buyer's guide in the description below, so click on the link and get your buyer's guide for free. Can't wait, it has great information in it, great vendors, etc. So. If you liked this video and would like to see more content, click on the boxes on the screen. Once again, my name is Erin Wheelock. I'm a real estate professional in New York City. And if we at the Wheelock team can serve you with your real estate needs, my contact information is in the description box below. If you wanna keep receiving uh, real estate updates for New York City, be sure to subscribe, follow me here, and all of my other socials. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>